The following, right. the following interview was conducted with Robert J. Silkman, class of 1942, Bachelor of Science in Science at Purdue for the Purdue University Oral History Program. It took place on Wednesday, May 11, 2011, Stewart Center by phone. Good afternoon, Press, uh, Bob Silkman, and we really appreciate the opportunity to have a little conversation. Good. It's good to talk to you. Okay, thanks. Let's start out. Tell us where and when you were born, your parents and siblings in early years. Fine. In July 31, 1921, I was born uh -huh. in Boston, and I have no siblings. My mother and dad have gone. My father was born in England. He came here when he was four years old. I think it was 1894. My mother was here. And I, as I said, I have no symptoms. Now, what else did you want to know? Uh, well, tell us what did your father do, and tell us about grade school, and then from there go to high school. What was high school? All right, like? my dad was in the uh, circulation business with the Bo then the Boston American and the Daily Record. And then I went to grade school. Is it, is it, if you have enough stuff so far? Yeah, you're doing fine. All what? right, then I went to grade school in in Dorchester, part of Boston, and then to uh, school from the fourth to the eighth grade. And then I went to Memorial High School, then I went to Boston Latin School, and had a postgraduate school there, and then matriculated to Purdue. Okay, huh? And uh, I left uh, home here. It was, I think, around Labor Day of 1939. Okay, how did you happen to select Purdue? I was smart. Oh, okay. Somebody, did you have a, a friend that had gone here, or that's quite yeah, a distance? I had a friend. Okay. And it was probably the best thing I ever did. Sure. I okay. almost went to the University of Vermont. Okay. And never heard from them. Apparently, they lost all my records, and that was a blessed event for me. <laughs> that's how I got to Purdue. Okay. Let me ask a couple questions about high school. Were there any student organizations, and what was your program? Was it college prep, or what sort of program? Yeah, well, we, we had, in that time, we had college prep course. Okay. And we had to take languages. And I took French, <coughs> excuse me, in the seventh and eighth grade, and that counted as one year. Okay. And then I had four years of Latin. It wouldn't let me take biology because that was considered not in the proper prep course. <laughs> and that was the only thing I think I really liked. Sure, okay. And then four years of English, four years of math, and so forth and so on. Okay, all righty. <laughs> Well, let's talk about coming to Purdue. How did did you come? Uh, did you come by train, and did your parents yeah. come with you when you? No, okay. I came all by myself. Okay. We had gone up to Vermont, and they had no record of anything, so I got on a train in Boston at South Station. And okay. About well, 19 hours later, I was in Purdue. Okay. Well, tell at us the, at the cost of twenty-nine dollars and fifty cents round trip by train. <laughs> on the old Southwestern Limited. Oh, okay. Part of part of the New York Central Line. All right. Is, I'm oh. talking ancient times. Oh no, that I recognize some of these names. You know, I've been around a little bit. I read up too, as well. Oh. Okay. Right. Tell us All a little. Right. Uh, tell us a little about. Well, you sound like you're about 22 years old. No, I'm afraid not. I've been here 40. Right. I've been here 42 years. So that tells you something. Oh well, you know more than I do then. <laughs> tell us a little about uh, getting in 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 uh, the orientation and uh, your. All right, you that's live. another thing. That I probably was the only one in the history of the school that never took orientation exams. Okay. I Why did they I have orient? Did they have orientation exams? Yeah, oh, Brett, in those pretty, days. Oh, my goodness. You had to come out early and oh. take them. Oh, okay. And the reason I didn't is that I arrived a little late. I arrived in time for classes. Perfect. And they said, well, you'll have to take them sometime, and nobody notified me, so I never took them. Oh, okay. <coughs> um, where, did you, um, what, uh, where did you live when you came on campus? You know where the Union Building main entrance is on State Street? Yes, I do, because okay, Stewart I'm Center sorry. is right I'm, next door. Okay. Huh? That, my Stewart Center is the building I'm in. It's right next door. I know. I know. Okay. You're, you're, I live right across the street. Oh, my God. My freshman year. Oh. And, now, of course, that's all demolished. Was it Was but, it a residence hall or a house? No, it was a house. Okay. The, Mrs. Cole okay. ran it. Okay. She and Floyd, her husband. Oh, okay. And I found a bulletin board with that address on it and went over, and I got stay there for the year. Okay. There were about 35 of us. Okay. Did that include? Including, including Bob Height, who is a classmate of mine, my best friend, and 
till to this day, and he's in Erie, Pennsylvania. Uh -huh. And here's from Maine, up in Reedfield, so that was a natural conglomerate for me. Sure, okay. Did that include meals? Did you, uh, meals were served? We had meals there, except on Saturday and Sunday, we sure. didn't have any meals. Okay, all righty. Well, tell us about first... I, think, I okay. think it was 35 bucks a month, but I'm not sure. Okay. Tell us about the first year, and what was the campus like? Well, the Union Building was there. The addition was being built. There was no music hall until later in the year. Okay. And the thing I think and, and do remember, when they put the new addition, what is it, the North Wing, on the Union Building, I think they dedicated it in, nine, in the spring of 1940, and I was all, almost through with my freshman year then. Okay. Also, the thing I also remember is the two statues. You know where the entrance is, the main entrance, Yes. And there are two statues on each side of the entrance. I have a picture of the place right in front of me. Oh, okay. As a matter of fact. Very good. <laughs> and those were concrete blocks originally. And then there was some sculptress. I may be wrong with the name. You, I, I can't verify it. And it was, I think it was her name was Irene Rich, and I'm not sure. Okay. And she was there for the dedication, and of course everybody was there. Sure. Okay. It was a big event. Oh, it sure was. Right. But the bigger event, I think, was when the music hall was dedicated in the spring of 40. I've heard that. That's true. Yes, indeedy. And that's a nice facility. Oh, I don't think there's anything better. Right. Well, of course, there's a little competition with Radio City Music Hall. A few seats well, one I way was, or the other. I was going to me sure. mention that. Yeah. I think that Purdue knocked off 100 or 200 seats. Okay. So that Radio City could still say they were the largest. <laughs> I'm serious. That well, could be. A little competition there. <laughs> well, tell us a little about campus life, your, your, your course of study and professors and things. My course of study was horrible. Oh, what would you major in? Pre-med. Ooh, okay, good. And we worked hard. Oh, I bet. I'm not, I'm cry, I cry for the kids today with their false tears. Oh, <laughs> Did you where we, did you where did you live after your freshman year then? You moved from I the lived house? Down on Harrison Street. Oh, in another house? In an well, there were only six of us who left here. Okay. And went down and we roomed in the three rooms upstairs. I can't remember the landlady's name. That's okay. But it's not there anymore. They put apartment buildings up and so oh, forth. Oh, okay. All righty. Okay. Well tell us a little about uh, college at Purdue. What do you recall? What was going on? Uh, it was during the war, right? Well, not not originally. No, when you first came, we not not to forty one. When I first came, yeah, it was thirty nine September. 30, the war started, but we weren't in it. Sure, that's right. Okay. Right, and mm, life was good. Uh huh. We didn't participate too much. Finances were kind of strict in those sure. days. Yeah. For a lot of us, so some of us worked a little bit here yeah. and there. Uh huh. And school took up a lot of time. Oh sure. I don't know if you remember. We had to have 147 semester hours credit to graduate. Oh, okay. All right. And we always used to make fun of all the other schools with their 120, which Purdue needs or requires now, I know. Mm -hmm. That's correct. Yeah, they made no, some No, I had lab courses, and I'd take German and uh -huh. English and, and so forth. I had to, and math, and I had to take government. <coughs> government was very good. In that it was good and bad. The good part is I liked it anyway. Mm -hmm. The other courses are all pre-med, chem and biology and stuff. Okay. And we had uh, uh, Professor Charles Murphy. Oh, the Murphy went, Award is named after him then, I that's think. That's right. Okay. And in those days, he was terrific. Oh, okay. However, I hated Fridays. And the reason was we had recitation. And WBAA came in. <coughs> Excuse me. Mm -hmm. And they broadcast the program. And he started, and no matter where I sat, he picked on me first and asked a question. And thank goodness he used to read and, and could answer it. And then he'd always said, I love to call on Soakman because he has that nice Boston accent. <laughs> That's your claim to fame, huh? I know I can detect it myself. <laughs> oh, I'm sure I'm sure you can, sure. and I can't get rid of it. That's okay. Sounds Not good. That I, I don't try to. No, huh? believe me. Sounds good. Okay. Yeah. Were there there were some dances, weren't there, in the uh, Memorial Union, mm -hmm. the ballroom? Mm-hmm. Okay. All right. So there was some. You social... go over there once in a while, but not too often. Okay. 
All right. Money-wise, as I say, it was a little tight. Sure. Okay. What did you do in the summers then? Did you go home and, and stay at home during the summer? <laughs> no, I'd come home and I'd be at home about three or four days and I'd go up to Kennebunk, Maine, Kennebunk Port. Oh, okay. Where President Bush has his house. Oh, okay. And I used to deliver stuff in there. Oh, okay. But did I only got as far as the kitchen. Oh, okay. All right. Did you did My you work? My son-in-law got got in much further because he was Secret Service and he used to help and and guard him. Oh, okay. Did so you? We always get it about it. Uh, did you and, have a? Go ahead. Sorry. And then I just go around and load up trucks and all that sort of stuff. Okay. And they all went. It was all marketing. It was a kind of a an exclusive store in those days. Uh huh. Okay. And they took care of the hotels and so forth. Mm hmm. Okay. So then I'd come home, and I'd be home three or four days and go back to school. Did you take the train back as well, back and forth? From, 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 from Kennebunkport? No, from Boston back to Purdue. Did you take the train? Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. All righty. Um, a couple of times, Bob Height and I hitchhiked. Oh, well, oh, my goodness. Were you successful? Oh, no problem. Oh. Well, Not in those days. Yeah, it was easy, right? We, yeah. yeah, I had an old, uh, an old big old suitcase with a great big Purdue with the old seal on it, and that used to help us get on rides, get rides. 